plant-based Gabriel here, and today I have a very special guest in the kitchen, someone who has made the trek from the home office into our kitchen, and that is Dr. Miller. My wife, Erica, has come to show us how she makes her famous split pea soup. Now, Erica, what are we gonna need for this recipe? Yeah, so it's really simple. Start off with, we use one teaspoon of basil, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of thyme, and then half a teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, we also use two bay leaves and about the size of your thumb just to give you perspective there. And make sure that you get those bay leaves out once you're done cooking because it can be very unpleasant to take a bite into that uh, from personal experience. Yeah. And then we use about a one and a half tablespoons to two tablespoons of garlic. We're going to chop it up. Um, it kind of depends on what size your cloves are. It's like around six cloves, guys. Yeah. Sometimes we do buy it from the store when it comes in a can with water. And that's really simple just to measure it out from there. Um, then we also have one Vidalia onion, so it's a sweet onion, I like that because it gives it a nice kind of sweet flavor, and then we also like it spicy, so we have six jalapenos that we're going to use today. You could do more, you could do less, it kind of depends on your personal preference, we like it spicy though. We are probably at maybe the higher level of the spice thing, so uh, if you're trying this recipe for the first time, you can go ahead and maybe do two or three uh, and see where you're at if you have a moderate spice um, level. Yeah, and finally we use two pounds of green split peas and then 10 cups of water or you can use 10 cups of vegetable broth if you have some. We just didn't have any handy and water works just fine. Yeah, and so with the vegetable broth, it normally has salt in it. So we're going to go ahead and there's not going to be any salt in this recipe. Um, we will either salt to taste when it is finished or we'll use some sauces um, to top it with. And one last thing, guys, is when we first started making this recipe, we used to use our Dutch oven and cook it on the stove top. And that took around four hours, which is fine because, you know, four hours for a delicious split pea soup is fantastic. But now we do it in the Instant Pot and it takes 20 minutes of cook time. So much quicker, just as delicious. We really love doing it in the Instant Pot now. We're going to bring you guys in here and we're going to go ahead and get started on this recipe. Okay, so we're going to start off by dicing up our onion and jalapeno and mincing up our garlic. And then we'll put everything into the Instant Pot and get it started with cooking. Now we're gonna go ahead and get everything in the Instant Pot and get started cooking. Okay, we're gonna start off where we actually use the saute function of our Instant Pot just to get the onions and peppers and garlic kind of going. So we have all that that we diced up. We'll add it here. And then we are gonna use water instead of oil. We don't use oil in our cooking. And so water actually just keeps it from sticking and lets that saute kind of work just like you would if you were using oil, but without all the added fat. So add those together, grab a spoon here, just kind of spread it out across the bottom and then we'll use this saute function and we're just going to do it for five minutes. And you can kind of just stand by and stir it a little bit and if you need to add more water you can. And we'll be back in a little bit to talk about the, putting the rest of the ingredients in. Okay, the five minutes are up for the saute so we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So I start off with the split peas, pour those in, kind of We'll scrape the rest of the container in a little bit. All right, then we have our dry spices, and I wait to add the bay because I do want to stir this and I don't want to break that bay leaf up, so I'd add that actually last. There's that. And then I stir it before I add the water just so the spices don't all sit on top. They kind of get coated onto everything in there just to mix it all around. Now, I will say, Gabriel, this is the classic recipe that Gabriel really loves. Sometimes I add potatoes, sometimes I add corn, carrots, I've added mushrooms to it before, so this is where you could add other things if you wanted to, but this is kind of the base recipe we'll just show here. And then here's our 10 cups of water, which seems like a lot, but it's gonna need it all. Those peas really soak it up. They don't even look like individual peas by the time it's done cooking. It just kind of all forms together into a single soup. All right, then I do stir just to keep anything from sticking to the bottom. And then the very last thing you just need to add is those two bay leaves. And I just kind of soak and make sure they kind of sink and not just sit on top. And that's everything. We're gonna go ahead, close it up. Uh, we're gonna do pressure level high for 20 minutes. And that's it. 
All right, so our 20 minutes are up and we actually let it natural release because there's liquid in it. You don't wanna do a quick release on this one for about 30 minutes after that. We're gonna open it up and see how it looks. Ooh, looks fantastic. You kinda need to stir those spices around in there. It's thicker on the bottom, thinner on top, so you stir it around and that'll kinda get a consi good consistency. Guys, it smells fantastic in the kitchen right now. We are gonna go ahead and get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit. We're gonna get those bay leaves out of there first probably. I get the kitchen cleaned up, get a bowl of this dished up, and we'll see you in just a second. All right guys, the kitchen is tidied up. We have this split pea soup, and I just gotta tell you, it smells fantastic. I cannot think of a, I cannot think of honestly, a better way to celebrate this fall weather than with Dr. Miller's famous split pea soup. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Or Dr. Miller's gonna let me try it here. It's a little hot. It is kinda hot, here. We couldn't, we, we couldn't really wait. So delicious. Now I've gotta say, now you can mention how your favorite way to eat this is. Mm -hmm. My favorite way is I like to put some hot sauce on top, mix it in, and it's just, it's better than A-OK. -okay. It's like A, stupendously fantastic. I just think that as is, um, although we do love to have some bread with it, to mm -hmm. kind of just, we use a bread practically, like a spoon. Yes, yeah, so we will toast some bread with that sometimes and have it with it, but it's absolutely fantastic. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button on Facebook at The Plant Based Gabriel. And on YouTube, hit the subscribe button at Plant Based Gabriel. And make sure you hit that little bell to get notified whenever I post a new recipe video. I am Plant Based Gabriel with... Erica. And we hope we will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.